What is going on guys? It is your boy D1 Snipes here and today what we're going to be doing is S&D strats on Terrace. Uh, all these are competitive strats. Um, I didn't really get my class setups. I just prestiged last night so all my stuff's kind of messed up right now. But uh, for defense, this is a really, really hard map to play defense on. Um, I really think that uh, you really need a smart team to play good defense on this map. Um, some people just like to overload certain sides and that, I don't really like doing that because it leaves a bomb site open and I really, I try to keep the other team off the bomb uh, as much as possible on defense. I know some people will let the other team plant and then move in. Uh, that's not really my style of play. It just depends on your team and your philosophy. But for me today, what I'm gonna try to do is explain the best way to keep the other team off both bombs at the same time. Now, uh, from watching a lot of people's streams, I see that a lot of teams go A here. Um, I'm not really sure why. It could be because that this is such a, a narrow way. Uh, you can really watch this with one person, one or two people, and it really kind of narrows your routes that you can take to get to B bomb but I think that there's a lot of uh, potential for flanks through A and I think that the other team has to be aware of that or they're gonna get flanked but that's for another video we'll discuss that kind of discussions discuss those discussions later yeah anyways what we're gonna do we're gonna start off with uh, the right side guy I like to run thermal on this map because it's dark and it's kind of hard to see people if they're head glitching so my very first spot I go to is I just sit up here um, and check this spot right here. Uh, I know some people go with snipers over there, but if you're really going to push this side, um, a lot of people do not expect a sniper right here. So if you're standing right here, and normally you can get a pick. Uh, that's what I like about this spot is nobody expects you standing right there in the middle. And if they do see you, you can just drop right back make sure you're right on the edge or just boost back and you're down off the edge and you're out of the clear now what I would do from here is I would not try and challenge back up there I would come over here let them come to you you can still watch the, the bottom down here the top and over here plus if you call it out and you see people you're gonna have help on this side anyway another spot I like and that you can get to fairly quickly is just right here this little head glitch you can see anybody push you and you're also you can see anybody push you from over here um, you may say uh, you're open in the middle but I'll show you that this is a different guy's responsibility you just need to communicate and talk about what you're doing so that's your right side guy your sniper and if you notice I'm not doing the point of view uh, that didn't really go over so well a lot of people it hasn't really gotten many views so if, if that one kind of blows up, I'll do it again. Let me know in the comments if you like that video, the point of view. Um, this guy, who probably should be your best player, your, at least your best sniper. This should be an overkill class. I'm not running it, obviously. But you can pick people all day from right here. People that are jumping down, going to A. And also people that are trying to snipe you from up there or right there and then every once in a while you can get somebody that's uh, peeking that right there uh, just depends on where the offense is going but your job over here is to call the a push and maybe get a pick but your main goal is to stay alive as you'll have somebody down by the bomb anyway uh, guy that goes to watch a uh, this should be probably your best AR player uh, probably your best one-on-one -on -one player this guy has got to be clutch um, to be honest, you may, depending on who you have on your team, this may need to be your best player, but he needs to be able to hear the communication of them going to A, so he needs to be aware that there could be a guy waiting for him right here on that head glitch, but I mean there's several spots you can lay. You can be down here, you can be on the bomb, this is a great head glitch that's very hard for you to get killed off of this I mean you could get killed from up there but I'll show you where you're being covered from um, this is a super easy spot to get like that first kill the first guy that's maybe pushing the bomb uh, but this player needs to be your best uh, like one on two player just a real 
high skill guy and the main reason for that is because if they do push A you need to pick up the first kill and try to stay alive as long as you can uh, if you can't pick up that first kill and they get two guys in either of these rooms down here then it's going to be really hard for your teammates who are up here to uh, trade the kills and uh, defuse the bomb within 40 seconds anyway 45 seconds so this guy needs to get that first kill it's extremely important and he needs to have a good player that, a good communicator uh, sitting back here your last guy spot so you need a guy down here just kinda chilling head glitching uh, but his main concern is down here until the, you either know they're going B or they're making a mid push so for your very last guy this guy needs absolutely to be your best communicator uh, 100% if this guy is not a good communicator this strategy will not work out uh, I should have shown you the route so anyway what he's gonna do uh, if it's a quick B push and that sniper can see that he's just gonna chill right in here and his main goal is to watch the middle push now I know what you're thinking uh, from bottom pink uh, this is this is a spot that your sniper is watching after he watches the initial picks so let me show you this first I guess sorry about this guys so he watches for the first initial pick and then why this is an overkill class is he's watching he's watching okay five six seconds go by and he doesn't see anybody he's immediately watching right here because if nobody's pushing up here maybe they got a guy sitting back flank he's not showing uh, maybe they're pushing B quickly maybe they're pushing quickly uh, or slowly uh, there's a lot of different ways to play this map but anyway his main goal is to watch this right here because even if they're making a B push this guy from middle's got this cover and if he doesn't he can just kind of boost over and watch the bottom and watch the top but he's looking for the rush uh, on that sniper if he gets spotted so he's just kind of watching the middle well, this is a good angle on that door uh, good head glitch behind this tree into the middle but he's just kind of hanging out here in the middle not getting picked from here because his sniper up there uh, is covering him and if nobody pushes this side then he's he's clear to move over here and he doesn't have to worry about that left side so he can watch the middle and watch B side uh, bottom and top of this little connector so what you want your sniper to do after uh, he doesn't see anybody A his responsibility is to go right down here and watch this flank because there's a hallway right over there you can get to from their spawn he needs to just check this out uh, don't get too aggressive here because obviously you gave up the left side so you give up this pool right here so anybody can come over that's pushing late over here now you guys just need to communicate and stay alive on this map uh, the most important thing that I can like the most important tip that I can give you guys is to just stay alive on this map and team up uh, trades are extremely important especially on this map because uh, it's hard to get trades on this map so it's easy to get a pick and then run away down a hallway and go hide in a room and force somebody to chase you so uh, it's just it's a very complicated map uh, defensively and offensively um, I hope you guys learned something from this video I'll do a discussion probably on a couple different maps later on this week um, but let me know if you guys learned anything if you guys have any tips or suggestions yourself you want to see in a video, please leave it in the comments below and leave me a like. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the offensive side.